a lot of players have made it from the, um, the Six Nations, the Grand Slam. There's a couple that have missed out, been unfortunate. But we've tried to keep and limit um, the squad to, to make it manageable for you know coaches and medical staff and, and really to give those players uh, an opportunity. There's one or two players that um, are out out at the moment that we may look at um, adding a delay to date but uh, last time I think we picked a squad of about 50 players and uh, and that was that was more difficult for us so we've uh, focused on keeping that to uh, a manageable number you know we feel we're in a, a pretty good place at the moment with I think about 18 players that were involved in the World Cup and then the, the, the youngsters that we've developed over the last uh, few years so there's some real competition in the squad been impressed with both of them in terms of Reese being on our succession plan for uh, a couple of years now and um, we're looking at you know the front rowers that will probably end up taking nine front rowers with us on, on the World Cup and uh, so we've got uh, you know four tight heads and Reese comes in as the fourth loose head at the moment to, to put some pressure on the others we've kept the three hookers and Owen we've been impressed with Owen you know he's he's, he's big and physical he's played on both sides um, on the wings left and right wing he's played in the midfield as well and um, um, you know, he's, uh, he's a young player with a, a lot of talent, unfortunately picked up an injury last weekend and hopefully he's going to recover from that and um, be fit and ready when the, the squad comes in for uh, the first day of camp. The plans have been in place for a long time now, we haven't, we haven't changed those plans. Um, you know, we sat down a year or so ago and, and, and put those in place about what we wanted to do, the camps that we wanted to go to, uh, going back to Switzerland um, uh, where we felt we got some huge benefit from, from altitude and then we're um, going to Turkey, um, south of Turkey to do some heat stress training and uh, yeah we've always felt that the longer the this, this squads have been together uh, the more in-depth coaching and, and skill development you can do in that, in that period sort of uh, makes us stronger so you know, we're excited about it.